on Thursday, 23rd October 2014. This young man, Mr. Ernest Ogo, met with the man of God, Prophet Moses Ajibade, and was delivered from the spirit of masturbation, lust, and spiritual wife. Let us watch how God used the servant to deliver him. That one is it? Yeah. Have this kind of speech of love and communication with you. That's the love. Yeah. I'm not excited. I do my speech all the time. But I'm trying to talk, but I can't stop it. If you have tried to stop it, I'm not talking about it. I believe Jesus will help you. I believe. Huh? I believe. You believe. You believe. You believe. You believe. Jesus, Mr. Ernest Ogo has been delivered. Glory be to God. Mr. Ernest Ogo came back to city on the ill church of all nations to testify how God delivered him from the spirit of lust, spiritual wife, and the spirit of masturbation. Let us watch. My name is uh, Ernest E. I live at Uduru. I want to thank God for saving me, from delivering me from the spirit of loss, fornication, masturbation, and spiritual wine. Praise the Lord. It all happened last week because in every deliverance you must have a confirmation. Also, I also have, I have the confirmation because on on Thursday, like this last week, I went to the man of God that please, he should deliver me from this, that he should pray for me so that God will deliver me. Okay. Yeah, what did you say? Yeah. Thanks. I have this kind of speech of love and communication with you. That's the of love. Yeah. I'm, I'm also, that is, I do my speech all the time. But I try to stop it, but I can't stop it on my own. Because I've tried on my own possible best. If I could stop it, stop all this habit, all these spirits that are been disturbing me, tormenting me, but I could not with my own power. Because sometimes I will stay on my own that I don't want this thing to disturb me. But before I will see myself, I'll start doing the things that I don't want to do. Praise the Lord. It was that beautiful day when I met the man of God I should pray for me. After the prayer, because that day I still went on fasting. I fasted that day throughout. My mom said that she knows that we should continue to fast until the next day. I agreed to our instruction. That night, 
the spiritual life came also to sleep with me. Because whenever this thing happens, I don't even normally have the courage just that when you come, I'll just go to it. But that night, I don't just know the strength that came into me that day. And I shouted the blood of Jesus. I shouted Jesus. Before I could get myself, it was as if I'm shouting it physically. And this spiritual I just left me. Since then till now, I do not have that feeling again. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! This thing has been disturbing me. Though, this masturbation of eating started when I was in boarding school, when my friend introduced me to it. But since then, I've tried to stop it when I left my boarding school. I've tried to stop it, but I could not stop it. Sometimes I'll say, let me stop this thing. Let me if I want to stop it, I will not get myself, I will see myself doing it. But since the man of God delivered me, I see myself, I'm now okay. Those spirit of laws, those spirit of communication, those masturbation, since the day he delivered me and since the day I had that confirmation, my life has changed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together beautifully for Jesus. Beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So are you trying to tell me now that the spirit of loss is not under there again? Yes, sir. So you mean that night something entered into the spirit of your younger sister? Yes, sir. What did you have to make you go to succeed? My sister woke up that night. So he asked me, are you not sleeping? I said, no, I'm not sleeping. So later, I now went to bed to sleep. That was when my sister told my my that is my auntie. So my dad now woke me up and said, What's up? Then I was asking, I don't know what happened. I don't know how come. I don't know what happened. Because I know if it's another person that did that thing to my sister, through me and that person we we put our legs inside one another. Because I don't play with that my sister. Okay, when the spirits come upon you, how do you stop feeling? Guys, I feel as if something is pushing me. Something is pushing me out. To do what? To do what I don't want to do. Let like, if uh -huh. it's masturbation, uh -huh. I will see myself. I will, I will see let me stop. Before I will see myself, I'll start doing this. So something normally pushing me. The spirit normally pushing that. I can't even get myself. And in terms of this spiritual life, if the thing comes, I will just fall to it. But that, that day, I could not fall to it because I don't know what came over my ma mouth, how I shouted Jesus. But at, at once I shouted Jesus. So I regained myself. Since then, till now, those, those period, all those things, I don't feel them again. Okay, after the prayer of the man of God, have you? Yes, sir. Since then, you don't have hodge. I don't have it again. You don't have the hodge? Yes, sir. Again. Because in my church, I do see people do testify that there is too much to do. I used to say in my own mind that we do with this thing living, but today I have witnessed it. It has left me. Put your hands together beautifully for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Believe in Jesus' name. Amen.